I actually was given uh, from my friend Mickey because we have the same shoe size. He gave me a pair of new shoes. Okay, congrats. But I think no they were. To. I think they were made by a drug dealer. Why? Well, whatever he laced them with has me tripping all day. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Like this page, follow us on account, subscribe, like button. Whatever he has him laced with has me tripping all day. Ha <laughs> Today we got a uh, video essay. It's called Cinema of India, My First Impression. Uh, ah, which, which, uh, which uh, actor are you going to do an impression of? <laughs> Ranveer. Here, ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm Ranveer. Wow. How was it? It was like he was sitting next to me. And anyway, so this is a little... It says... Uh, this channel is called Ax... Ax Accented Cinema. And cinema. It's, the what reason it took me so long to make this video cinema. on cinema of India is purely... I know nothing of Indian cinema and culture. Oh. So this is going to... To my no joke, my first dive into rich world of Bollywood, Hollywood, and Tollywood. Okay, nice. so have no idea about Indian cinema. So first he, impression. He decided to dive in a little bit, and, and now is doing a video essay. What did you watch? Yeah, because um, that matters. Also, if you only watch a couple things, I don't know if you can do a video essay on. Uh, well, you Indian can if it's cinema. You can if it's your first impression. Yes, we well, did, we watched... basically did that with Gully Boy. We did a review of Gully Boy. We didn't do a review of Indian cinema. That's true. I don't even know if we could the do a whole review. of Indian. We, We've seen three hundred we, plus films, and I don't know if we could do. A I review. agree. <laughs> if we were to give you our first impression of Indian cinema as a whole, I think after four years, we now could actually do our first impression. Yeah, and that's all we have. But at least he didn't just do Bollywood. He went to Hollywood, Hollywood, and and Bollywood. So you know, there's more least, industries than that, no. friend. But at least he didn't just do Bollywood. That would be a mistake. A lot of that people is make. true. A lot of people would make that mistake. Here we go. Let's see. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's an interesting one to have at the first. I there you go. To get to Indian cinema, and I also Not seen that one. Too. Famous for glamorous nice. Weapons, entertaining dance sequences, and some of the most glorious mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It is fascinating and intimidating. Not least because of all the untranslated titles. I mean, come on. <laughs> and with so many separate industries nice. combined to make the biggest film producing nation in the world, the water is way deep. So I ask you, our viewers, for movie recommendations <laughs> and got absolutely flooded. That was cute. I spent the past week watching as many Indian films as possible, and I'm here to give you my first impressions. Cool. Specifically about the three biggest film industries in India. Hindi cinema of Bollywood, oh Tamil cinema of Hollywood, okay. Telugu cinema of Hollywood, and tell you which films I think you should watch. Bear in mind, I'm a total amateur when it comes to the cinema of India, so what I'm saying are almost purely my anecdotal experience with minimal research. With that out of the way, thank you for that let's disclaimer. Begin our journey through the colorful world of Indian cinema. Cool. I'm excited to learn. To an average foreigner, Bollywood is practically synonymous with cinema of India. Tollywood, Jollywood, there's a million names for it. We're calling it Bollywood because it sums it up nicely. <laughs> That's not going to make anybody mad. No. <laughs> success is both a blessing and a curse. Ega. There is a good chance that what's in your head right now isn't actually from Bollywood. Yes, none of those. Bollywood actually specifically refers to the Mumbai film industry, which produces mostly Hindi language films. Good job. These films are relatively grounded and romantic. Great one. Not too dissimilar to Hollywood musicals. I don't know that I would say Look relatively Shutter, grounded. The action classic from India, and you won't find any gravity defying actions. Love was the defining theme of classic Bollywood. Mm. Practically every Bollywood Especially in the 90s. is a romance of some kind, yep. such as 1995's DDLJ. Heck yeah. It's a movie about a girl falling in love with a boy and with the boy's help, fights against her <laughs> arranged marriage. It sounds cheesy, but that's Bollywood for you. It's gloriously cheesy. It's a very cozy viewing experience. It's all about knowing the outcome 
and excitedly waiting for it to happen. And trains. Now, I said love was the defining theme because in recent years, Bollywood seems to be diversifying. Dangao, for example, steps away from the melodrama formula. This 2016 movie is so big the story in that movie. of a father training his daughters to become sports wrestlers and in the process challenges Indian gender traditions, breaks gender norms. It is a beautifully written film and became a bit of a gender equality piece in Asia. You can certainly start a Bollywood journey with Dangal, but really, when it comes to Bollywood, there is one movie we all know of. <laughs> and that's the first Please? and that's the first one we ever watched. No, it's not. Free yeah, it was. Oh, sorry. I was thinking in theater. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Between free engineering students. Fraternity, beer, music, porn mac, etc. <laughs> the college experience is really universal. Bowman or Ronnie? The not there, but makes an excellent entry movie. Yet underneath this cozy exterior, the film is actually an intense criticism on the Indian education system yep. and success culture. Yes. A culture that drives a lot Good research so far, my man. Even if their passion is with, say, photography. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, all of the best Bollywood movies have, have Amir Khan. <laughs> norms and affordance, <laughs> arranged marriage, sexism. But usually, these movies don't explore these themes deeply. They are, after all, cozy little entertainments. But three idiots went there he is. above and beyond. Nearly every sequence satirizes the education system in some way. It sees the absurdity in the system and deals with it with a laughter. No doubt, many of us were forced by our parents into studying something we didn't want to. Especially in the Asian community. Years in a highly competitive schooling system destroying ourselves. Seeing our character confronting his father about this, it is touching. Yeah, it's a wonderful scene. Through this film's endless wisdom, we get to experience the lives and I always forget Madhavan and Karina Kapoor are in that. The struggles <laughs> of many students we saw it so long ago. We aren't just sightseeing, we get to know how the people of India perceive themselves. We get to know India. Mm -hmm. That's why I think Free Idiots is the best movie to get into Bollywood cinema. Life Wouldn't no argue. Problem. That's how we got into it. It's a beautiful clock. It's, it gives you old school Before and new school. Yeah. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, NordVPN, for making this video possible. Never seen that movie. Binging so many films isn't easy. While I speak English mostly fine, I still find it easier to read subtitles in Chinese, which isn't always available in Netflix Canada. Mm. Mm. Yes, streaming services don't just region lock the films, they also region lock the subtitles. That's why I use NordVPN, which allows me to switch my virtual location to Hong Kong and voila. Chinese subtitles. Wow! And with over 5,200 servers, you can access all of your favorite contents with amazing speed. That's awesome! Secure. Almost all Indians use VPNs. Single account supports up to six devices, meaning you can yeah, easily go from your Forgive my ignorance, I didn't know that was available. Keep watching without That's interruptions. wonderful. Go to NordVPN slash the Cinema or use the code Accent the Cinema to That's get great. a two-year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. And if you are not satisfied, you can always get your money back within 30 days guaranteed. So, browse the world with NordVPN and explore the world to your heart's content. Chapter 2 If Bollywood is sweet, Hollywood is much spicier. <laughs> Indeed, Hollywood cinema seems to prefer the gritty dramatics. Music and dance take a backseat. Action and drama are the focus here. This is where you start it finding on... your meme materials. <laughs> but the one thing that really catches my eyes is that with a more aggressive style, Tamil movies also have more aggressive stories. Take Sodarai Potru, for example. It tells the story oh, of a okay. countryman navigating the dangerous the plain one, corrupt yeah. business world, trying to establish a low-cost ally that can improve the lives of the poor. Instead of fun and uplifting, this movie is direct and is angry at the injustice. Here, we see the main character fights to stop the train, 
a train that ignores the poor and serves only the privileged. We see the violence front and center. Even 2.0, which is really just a CGI fest entertainment film, <laughs> spends a lot of time delving into its environmentalist discussion. And with that in mind, the movie I want to talk about is Super Deluxe. probably not an obvious choice, but it is so good and so clever, it is to us. I have to share it. Super Deluxe is a 2019 black comedy. It's a pop fiction style anthology film where many stories intersect. In one story, five teenagers gather to watch porn, only to find out the actress is one of the teen's mom. Hey, no. <sighs> well, that's just the beginning though, so. I mean, still, a young boy let the movie tell the story. Waiting for the that happens at the like, very beginning though, years, like the first five minutes. Only to find out the father is now a woman. Okay, now you're now you giving away a little too much. <laughs> In both cases, we see characters unable to accept the shocking review. <laughs> and that was all just the setup. It only escalates from here. This movie sees the humor in these people's self pity. <laughs> As if they are the ones suffering. Well, guess what? The only one who isn't suffering is the kid. The innocent child who sees no problem with his dad being a woman, he just asks questions and tries to understand. <laughs> with highly sarcastic humor, the film pokes fun at people's obsession with family reputation. Mm. All that anguish came from their own prejudice against others. It's a very dense movie with a lot more going on than what I just summarized. It's normal to get confused by this film, but that is part of fun. <laughs> If you are into more indie, art house, counterculture stuff, Super Deluxe is, with no exaggeration, one of the best movies I've ever seen in my life, and also one of the most beautiful. This is literally every frame a painting. The ones recommended by our audience are generally more reserved. Business drama, family drama, the drama is hidden in the undercurrent. That doesn't appear to be the case for Telugu films. For Tollywood, action is the drama. For a wacky superhero movie like Iga, <clears throat> to a serious crime action flick, the action is well imagined. Ah, not well seen that one and it is as impressive as it is story-driven. The edge is on full display. Look at Donga, a Bollywood sports flick. The drama happens mostly in training. Each match is less about the action itself and more about the subtext and implication, all except the climactic last match. Compare that to Jersey, the 2019 Telugu film about a 36-year-old retired cricketer trying to get back into the game. The film pays equal attention to the personal drama as well as the development of each match. Jersey takes a great deal of time to let each game plays out, reveling in its form and spectacle. It is a drama film and an action film. Yes, he goes for it again. But really, when it comes to Telugu action, there is only one movie in our mind. <laughs> Bahubali is a 2015 fantasy epic about an exiled king returning to claim his throne. The action in this movie is second to none. You find plenty of gravity defying stuff here. Says a Georgia movie. It's done with just enough drama and gravitas that it never quite becomes shockingly silly. <laughs> I love Ego so much. Stupid. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> fantasy and reality, something that even his sequel couldn't quite manage goes to show how difficult this style really is. Yet in this film, there are also romantic themed extravagant songs and dances. Mm, very. A simple good versus evil folktale 
as well as the sharp and gritty drama. It has a little bit of everything. The titular Bahubali is a fun character too. Guess what makes him the God's chosen one? What makes him a great king that everyone loves? We see him willing to sit beside slaves and share a meal. We see him spare an innocent sacrificial animal and chooses to use his own blood as an Okay, oil. let's... We see him moves the lingam to the waterfall, a sacrilege to any common man, just so his mother can do less hard work. He's a good king because he's willing to challenge unnecessary traditions for the good of the common people. I'm sensing a theme here. If you are more interested in the crazier side of Indian cinema, and let's be honest, who isn't, Bahubali is the go-to film. It's crazy but serious. It's creative but traditional. It has all the good things you'd expect from an Indian production. On this channel, whenever I bring up modern day Indian movies, I usually show this movie, I can't pronounce it. Purely <laughs> because it has some fantastic visuals. And every time What was it? See, I didn't see it. Be at least Prem Ratan. Oh, uh, we haven't seen this it. Movie okay. sucks. After I sat my ass down and seriously watched some Indian movies, I think I can finally see why. It's fun to indulge in a world fantasy, oh, okay, it's the but sound. nothing gotcha. is quite as satisfying as seeing an underdog hero wins. In my journey to experience the films of India, I saw a nation of industries that belongs to the common folk. Indian cinema challenges the rich, the powerful, the authority, the corruption, the prejudice, the regressive, it is a forward-thinking art form, with eyes looking into a better future. And that is the best part of this journey. It inspires me to be better, to do better, to make things better. And my journey into the cinema of India has only just begun. <laughs> Good video. Well, for, for somebody who kind of gets it. For, well, and his articulation and vocabulary is quite strong for yeah. uh, not being a native English speaker. Yeah. And very insightful. Just a couple of moments that were a bit too much of the sharing of the story. Well, it's, um, I don't know how many, I, you don't strike me as a person who's ever really watched a video essay, right? Never, of a movie, like Pulp Viction video essay. So they're basically, no. they're not just review, they're not reviews. They literally delve deep into okay. what each thing means. Uh, did so a little, then a little disclaimer about spoilers. Yeah. With, um, and it wasn't, it wasn't horrific. It just got a yeah, little yeah, yeah. bit sherry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it very impressive. I don't know how many movies you watched. It seems like you watched a decent amount. Yeah. And that um, week. At least five, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you got a pretty good grasp. Um, I wouldn't say that there's one industry that really, I mean, Malayalam industry, I f would say, which you didn't explore from mm -hmm. here. Yeah. I would encourage you to. Yes. Uh, very much. Kumbhala and Knights, please do that. Um, but in terms of like, I wouldn't say each industry has one specific thing. I They all have stereotypes. And he was like, because he said Bollywood has a little more uh grounded and i was I, that's well, not always true <laughs> not always true and it's just it's because that's his first impression yeah yeah i mean i get that yeah um but like telugu there's so many like obviously he, if you watch roger Mooley films and he has a lot of the biggest hits in the telugu film industry understandably uh in going away thinking that's all telugu film industry right, is right um no that's just the wonderful mind of S.S. Rajamuli uh, and his, his extravagant brilliance uh, in his head. Um, but then you, you have like now, you, can you say that Canada film industry is I was, not one of the what biggest? That's on my mind was the Canada film industry and they're not predictable. They've done big Telugu-y, Rajamuli style blockbustery things and mm -hmm. they've also done stuff that's reminiscent of what Malayalam industry does. Yeah, and then you got Art House in, in Marathi and Bengali. Right. And explore Sachajit Rai and how he's influenced the... It'd be... I, I don't think... 
I, I still don't feel confident enough to do a full video essay on Indian cinema. Indian just, cinema like, I just feel no. like I am continually learning. Uh, Before. But I thought he did a very good job in terms of like for, for somebody who's never seen it. Yes. He gave some good recommendations of, of what people should start with. And sure. whoever gave him the recommendations of what to watch, were they, those were great recommendations. And clearly is somebody that loves cinema and has insight into cinema and can look at broader pictures and make a general assessment. I loved his disclaimer at the front. Yeah. I thought that was wise. Yeah. And so ultimately, I think this is a I'd really have... nice takeaway on the first impression. It'd be interesting to try to do like a video essay. And then I don't know if I could do a video essay on Indian cinema. As a whole? Because there's because the amount of knowledge that we have now, it's like, what do I talk about? How long is this video going to be? Yeah. Because you can't talk about Indian cinema without talking about such a rye. You can't talk about Indian cinema without talking no. about old school Bollywood and 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 what and its influences. I'm attack Bak Chan. It really and it's like it's it's like Superstar any conversation. It's like any conversation I have with someone here who wants to be introduced to Indian cinema. I I have to ask them, what is your knowledge of it, and what kind of films do you like? Yeah, because depending upon the kind of film you enjoy. I'm there who if if they're the kind of person who says I want to see something you know over the top ridiculous that'll make me laugh has a good story okay now we're narrowing it down we and we could do any of those things in virtually all the industries yeah so yeah it really depends on the audience cuz everything comes out of indian cinema in my film club we there's like 7 to 10 of us and every week we watch a different film who that the next person recommends I've recommended a few Indian films. They've watched Lunchbox. They've watched Kumbalanji Nights. They've watched Ugly. They've watched... Super Deluxe? No. Oh. Uh, Ramlila. Uh, and I... Th oh, RRR. They obviously watched RRR. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the he recommended some that I'm considering for my next pick. Because mm. I want them to explore, like... Are you ready for DDLJ? Right. Because that is... That's an acquired taste. It's uh, But it's also... Essential. It's for essential. Bollywood knowledge. You know what it is? Please. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like Hajmola. You you need to experience it because it's so central to what's going on. But you need to. I don't think you should just sneak that up on somebody. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. yeah. That super deluxe is, is very high, and, and I I, uh, I think that if you're a film lover, you're probably going to enjoy that one uh, and easily. As aside from obviously Yiga as well, I will. <laughs> what's what's the one in Bengali cinema? Because whenever we mention Bengali, we've seventy percent of what we've seen has been Satyajit Rai. Yeah. But what was the name of the film we loved so much that had uh, the story of the two guys that yeah. were in love? I don't remember it, but yeah, yeah, that that would be my first right now of what we've seen. If someone wanted to see a contemporary Bengali film, mm, yeah, that would be my first. Yeah, I would I would say so. So I think if I ever did like a video essay, and I don't know that I ever will. It's just I would have to do it based each, off of each each industry because there's so much history. Obviously, we are and stars more. I I wouldn't say we are more knowledgeable than Indians, but I would say we're <laughs> more knowledgeable than most non Indians. Most non Indians, uh, I'd say probably in the one percent of people that are knowledgeable, unless uh, they're doing Indian. what we do in terms of so like Jabby is a you know yeah 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 <laughs> obviously but people who who aren't exposed Jimmy. to this Jimmy Jimmy obviously yeah hey, or a, know, or of example who, someone who's immersed for decades like Mark Bennington yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, but so like. I'd say we know more than than most yeah. non-Indians. Correct. More than maybe some Indians, if they haven't explored other well, I, industries. I know Indians who talk to me about it here and don't know about the channel are flabbergasted. They were flabbergasted in the first year of the channel of the films we'd already gotten exposed to. Yeah. So, yeah, we do, we do know more than the average bear. But I agree yeah, with I you. Know, Any kind of a... An, a, a deep dive, it couldn't just be the totality of Indian cinema. Any no, no way. That would be in, too difficult and there'd be too many things left out unless yeah. it's like a five hour video. <laughs> yeah, uh, exactly. Because, like, you can't talk. You need to give about an hour it. to each industry you and can't, five's not enough. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could. You could do, like, here's all the industries and here's all the history that we know of right now. I guess what we could do. But we also haven't seen enough classics. You know what we could do? We could each choose an industry mm. that we would like to do an essay about. Yeah, maybe. And do two different essays about that industry. Maybe. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Obviously, it's a it's definitely a lot of work. Uh, yeah. A lot of the work is also just seeing the films, and we've 
already seen the films. Uh, but it's a great video. So I thought a, a very good introduction. Uh, so hats off yeah, to uh, Accented job. Cinema on uh, being well-researched. And uh, please keep exploring. Explore the Malayalam industry, please. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic... Marathi, Industry, Canada. Marathi, Canada, Bengali. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple even things though, we've watched in Assam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a, that's another one that I'm considering uh, uh, Amis for a film. Everyone from, we've seen from yeah. Assam is Every we've loved. Everyone we've seen from Assam has been absolutely incredible. Yep. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the video essay and what other videos we can watch down below. Just.